Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 4 Black Widow Challenge Part 5. Okay, so the reason why I was going to upload The Sims 3 today was because I was like, okay, I haven't played it in forever. I've been, I was missing it, and I filmed a whole entire part of, of the Ambitions. And right at the entire climax, like no joke guys, the entire climax of this part, my, my computer frozes, or sorry, it freezes completely frozen and i'm like oh my god well because i i can't i don't know it was just it was just a whole big mess and so i was like okay, you know what sims 4 won't quit on me we're just gonna play it so i can get, so i can get a video for you guys and it couldn't have come at a better time either because it's the day of the dead celebration well and the sims 4 it is but we have 30 days one hour left of it and so basically i figured you know what come on it's fitting the black widow challenge day of the dead come on so it says the day of the dead challenge ends in 30 days and one hour. The, this household has collected zero of nine sugar skulls to participate in the challenge. Use your sim cell phone, select the social tab and then call Jasmine holiday. When she arrives, speak with her to learn about the day of the dead festi festivities that are taking place. So we just have this like this little tab up here of how many we've collected and yeah. And then it says sim players around the world have collected 218,000. Ooh, that's a lot of, that's a lot of sugar skulls. Um, and yeah. Oh, also guys, um, I didn't know I was not recording. So I had her kind of go out, go out in the town and she is actually dating this guy named Adriel. And now, yeah. So he is her boyfriend and I forgot that these guys weren't married. So yeah. So she has two boyfriends. So yeah, it's a little complicated, but anyway, so we're, we're just going to go on ahead and call um, up Jasmine Holiday in the morning because I feel like it's 12 a.m. I don't think she's going to be up at 12 a.m. or, you know, 1230 a.m. So yeah, we're just going to go on ahead and go, go to bed. And also um, off camera, we went ahead and gave birth to little Leo Hendrickson. I just love that name, Leo. I think it's so cute. But anyway, this is his room. It's really little. <gasps> you guys haven't seen the house yet. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Hello. Like, I'm just giving away spoilers here. Okay. So this is the house that I have for them. This is the one that I built off camera because I felt like, you know what? We cannot have them, you know, like living in the same house. Well, I mean, we're only on part five, but I'm like, people are getting suspicious because, you know, we already had the death of her first husband. And, you know, I mean, like we, we, we just can't we can't have people constantly around us. So I went ahead and built this home. I freaking love this home. I think it is the cutest little thing. I love it from like the doors to the roof, like everything about it. I'm just like head over heels in love with it. The windows. Oh my God. It's just, it is like my perfect little home. I hope we never leave it, but we probably will have to at some point. But anyway, so let's go on ahead and head downstairs. So downstairs, we just have the stairway and I was gonna um add like a little coffee table here but we don't have enough simoleons for that and then over here we just have little Leo's room which is I mean it's not decorated to how I want it to be decorated but you know what I feel like he's a baby right now he's not gonna care what the heck his room looks like so that's what it looks like in there it's rather big as well it's really it's a nice room then over here is her little office area or soon to be office area downstairs bathroom and a living room again we couldn't afford a tv so yeah. Oh, we also put, um, we also put Deshaun's little urn right there. So yeah, it's like a little coffee table thing. And then this is the kitchen and I love this kitchen because it has all the windows. So you can look out and see like all the greenery. And then up here, we just have like another bedroom area slash bathroom, but we don't have enough smolians for me to do like what I want to do with it. So that's what it looks like right there for now. And yeah, that's about it. <laughs> um, that's about it for all I did. She is really hungry. So we'll have her get some cereal and then we'll go on ahead. Today's meal has been delivered. Thank you. Probably our bills, which we can't afford. Um, Where is our mailbox, by the way? I don't know. Oh, it's right here. Is it our bills? Yeah, it's our bills. So we have 854 simoleons, which isn't a lot considering this house is a little, you know, it, it's pretty big, but you know what? It, if we, we, need to, we need to afford it. So we might need to sell something in order to get it and somewhere along the line we got this voodoo doll and i can't remember where we got it but we did so oh we're gonna unbind it because it's binded to deshaun deshaun's dead now so we're gonna go ahead and unbind the voodoo doll and then we're gonna give um jasmine holiday a nice little call and yeah we're just gonna go on ahead and do that so we're gonna go ahead and unbind the voodoo doll and then we're going to call 
Jasmine Holiday up and say, hey, girl, like, you know what? Can we, um, that looks so creepy. Um, but say like, hey, can we get, you know, some, some tips on, oh, I was like, you can't leave this just sitting out like in the middle. No, like put it away. You, you have kids now. All right. So now we're going to wait for her to show up and she's going to go ahead and take care of her son who is, I guess he's lonely. Well, he's sleeping. Don't, don't wake up when he's sleeping. Um, okay. So let's go on ahead and wait for her to show up. I feel like sometimes she never shows up like right away when I want her to, but it's fine. Okay. Here we go. Wait, is that her? Okay. This is her right here. All right. So we're going to go on ahead. Okay. I don't know why they're like all over this way, but here we're going to ask her about the day of the dead challenge. Whoops. Hello. So we're going to ask her about the day of the dead challenge and what to say, Hey, I heard you became friends with Adriel McFarlane. He's pretty cool. Thanks. All right. So stop eating your cereal and go on ahead and start talking to her. Oh, and I need to give her like a new makeover. So it says the day of the Ted challenge has arrived for a limited time. Other Sims are already out, uh, are out and about celebrating the occasion. Look around the neighborhood for Sims and variety themed, um, regala and ask them for sugar skulls. Completing the sugar skull collection allows your own Sim to join the festivities. Simply place the nine unique sugar skulls inside a sugar skull display case to unlock the honor of the dead interaction. This interaction rewards your household with a 10th golden skull and enhances or an enhanced interaction with the Grim Reaper. We need to do that. Justin Holiday has placed a sugar skull display case in your household's inventory to help you get started on the daily day challenge. If you prefer a different color, you can also purchase the case from the storage selection of Build Mode's um, object catalog. All right. So I guess we're, we're going to need to, um, oh, her sadness thing went away. Good for her. So I think we're going to have to look around a little bit for people who are dressed in, um, celebratory clothes. And I, I read online that they usually come out at night. So I guess I'll wait until nighttime to do that. And what is, what does it say right here? She is feeling insecure from jealousy trait. Okay. Well, you know what? Get over yourself. Okay. Um, so yeah, she's going to go on ahead and take care of her, take care of her little, her little kid. And also I think it's important too that, oh my God, his mood is so low. Like seriously, take care of yourself, buddy. All right. So then take a, take a brick. Oh my God. Like seriously, these Sims do not take care of themselves at all. So um, what I also did off camera was I went ahead and I had, um, oh my God, what's his name? I totally forgot. Matthew. Okay. So I had Matthew invite over his, um, his kids. Cause I feel like it was important for, you know, him to still have a good relationship with his kids. And they were like, oh, I haven't had the pleasure of meeting Athena yet. And I'm like, girl, you do not want to meet her because she, oh, wait, psst, I don't, I don't need that many copies, but you know, I'm like, you do not want to meet her. Cause you're like, oh, but she seems lovely. I'm like, oh, <gasps> You don't even know. So we're going to go ahead and sell it. Yes. Yes. And then we're going to sell this painting as well. I wonder why like that one's worth more than the other one, but I don't know. All right. So now we just have one painting of or one picture of him and his daughter. We're going to go on ahead and add the frame to it. There we go. It makes it look all nice and cute. All right. So then we're going to have her. All right. We're going to give her a new outfit because that one glitches out on me. So we're going to change her appearance. And I feel like we've like been changing our Sims appearances for like the longest time in The Sims 4 and sometimes in The Sims 3. But I feel like, you know, I don't know. I think, feel like it makes it, I make, okay. I feel like it makes it seem more realistic when we do that because it kind of like gives them a new outfit every day. Um, but obviously I'm not going to be changing it every single day because that can just like become a lot. So this is just her pregnancy outfit. So I kind of want to change it up a little bit. So we're going to give her, all right, everyday wear. Let's see. Let's see here. What can we give her? We can give her something more casual or we could still give her something like with glitz and glam and just have her rock that for a little bit. Cause I, I did download like this new top. Um, let's see here. We give her this and okay. So like this is the one I downloaded. Um, but I feel like that's a little bit too much for everyday wear. So let's see or we could give her this one. Um, yeah. Okay. So we'll just give her that and then we'll give her some ripped jeans just to go along with it. So I believe that one glitches on me, doesn't it? Yes, it does. All right. So we'll give her these. And I feel like that kind of goes together, but I also kind of wanted to give her the casual top. 
Um, I don't know, guys. What should we do? Should we cover this one? Ooh. Ooh, all right. Okay, I like that one. So we're going to give her this one. We're going to change up her hair color because I feel like her hair color or like her hair. I don't know. I feel like it's not really her. So we're going to give her a new hair color or new hair style. This one is definitely not her, but let's keep on looking. I seriously love this hairstyle so much. Oh my God, I think it's so beautiful. Um. All right, that's not her. I feel like I feel like Max's match hair is just like they don't do her justice um and yeah i don't know I, I like it better like with the different like with the more realistic looking hairs so let's see what else can I, like what else do we have in here that we can put on her we can we can give her this one because i feel like this one fits her but i don't know guys i don't know i really need to like get new custom content hairs in the sims um in the sims for like or for the sims for black widow we're gonna give her back her black hair and we're, I feel like I just want to hit up her top because I feel like that's not really her either. Um, let's see. All right. So I guess we'll give her this one and then we'll give her a, a necklace to go with it. Uh, I love the necklace, but we'll give her this one. All right. That works. So anyway, this is going to be her new outfit for, for now. And yeah. Um, I'm, okay. So guys, I'm going to be so busy this week because I had to pre-film, I think about like five videos because I'm going on vacation for a week to California. So I'm just making sure that I get all my videos pre-filmed and uploaded for you guys. So don't worry. Sims 3 will be coming by the past two parts that I filmed of Ambitions. The first one, it filmed completely, but I just, I wasn't happy with the content in it. I felt it was like, kind of like a little boring. And then obviously, like I told you guys before, this one just kind of quit working on me. And I was just like, oh my God, because I actually really love that part. But what can you do? So I do apologize. You're playing like a lot of Sims 4 and not a lot of Sims 3. Just like Sims 3 lately has just been glitching out for me a little bit, but I will get it figured out for you guys. Hopefully by today, maybe tomorrow. Um, And yeah, so Anyway, we have, our, we have our new outfit, which looks so much better than her old one. And I really want to go out and kind of like see if we can like see. Like, okay, you know what? I wish that she would give us um, like a sugar skull right off the bat. You know, she's like, hey, look, here, you, you know, like here it is. Here's one to get you started or something like that. But she doesn't, which is kind of a bummer, but eh, that's okay. All right. Um, right. Let's see here. I feel like we live on like such a wealthy block or it looks like it because we have like the goths right across the street. We have whatever the household that is. And then we also have this little like kid pirate ship over here, which I think is so adorable. So like when Leo grows up, he can go over here and he can play on it. And yeah, I think we're really, really, really cute. All right. So are any of these Sims dressed up? No. So yeah, I think we're just going to need to wait until nighttime for for the festivities to take place. And we're just going to go on ahead really quickly and just um, place the sugar skull uh, case and we're just going to put it in the, in like the office area. What is this? Can we not, can we, can we, okay, here we go. All right. So we're just going to put this in, in this room kind of was like a little hiding area, I think. No, I want to, I want it to be displayed since we don't have a TV. We'll just put it where our TV would be. So we'll put it right here, right above his urn, which is kind of sad, but Eh, you can't really do much about it. So we're just going to put it right there. And I wonder like what we can do about it. If we can, um, okay. So we can release him to the spirit, leave a sugar. Okay. We're going to leave him a sugar skull offering, um, and just see what he does. Like, I wonder if he's going to come back to life or something or not like come back to life, but just like, you know, maybe appear once in a while. So let's see, this is her offering him a sugar skull. Let's take a picture of this. Uh, all right, zoom in here. Oh, looks so weird, doesn't it? All right, here, wait, let's, let's do the tab. Let's scroll down here. Okay. All right. So we have that. So the one's going ahead and it's continuing to see like what it does. I'm just going to like turn my volume up here. All right. So success. Athena's. Oh my God. 
gesture of respect was appreciated. The ancestors have heard her call and sent the day that I celebrated to roam the neighborhood. Oh my God. Oh my God. Like what is going on here? All right. Well, apparently we now we have a celebrator, a day of the dead celebrator that's going to roam our neighborhood. Is this him? No. All right. Um, I guess I'll just talk to him because I don't know. He looks old. Like he just, you know, here, we'll give him a flirty introduction. Just see what he does. But I want to know. Okay. So Athena's gesture of respect was appreciated. I'm just like, I don't know. I keep looking at all these people think that they're going to be the celebrator, but I don't think that they are. Um, heard your call since the day of the dead celebrator to roam the neighborhood. So at least you know that he's going to be in the neighborhood, which is nice, but I wish we could show up to our house. All right. So let's see this. Let's see how this is going to go down here. His little anchor t-shirt. It's, it's like, it's, I don't know. It's too much. And his little like green, green shoes are so cute. So let's, let's see here. Oh my God. All right. So I guess we'll go ahead and kiss his hands. Okay. Obviously he doesn't know about it cause he's, he's at home. So it's all good. <laughs> it's all good. All right. Um, so let's see what he's going to do here. I can't tell. I think I'm too fast. All right. Let's see. Oh, he's tense. Oh, now he's flirty. Look at him go. Oh my God. All right here. So we're going to give him a little bit of a sweet talk. We'll offer him a rose. Um, all right, let's see here. Okay. We'll embrace him. Oh, and guys, um, this is like a little heads up. Cause I don't, I don't think that I ever check on this. <laughs> um, but she is so close to completing this serial romantic thing. She just needs to kiss 10 Sims. And then the second, like then the last part of her aspiration will be all good to go. All right. So let's go on ahead and hold his hands. Then we'll have our first kiss with him. Oh my God. She is like such a little player. I don't know why. Well, I know why she is, but like, I don't know. Just like, I don't know. Just so weird to me. All right. Because, like, I don't think I've ever had a sim who has, like, attracted so many guys so quickly. You know, because, like, most of my sims, like, if they meet, you know, like, if they meet a sim and they're, like, hey, you know, like, all flirty, they're, like, get off of me. Like, just, just stop. Like, don't, don't even talk to me. But, like, with her, it's, like, oh, you look so nice. And then, you know, like, they're all about it. Oh, I think it's so weird. All right. So, let's see here. Sexy pose. Do not go into our home. Do not go inside. Don't go inside of it. I swear. Don't go. Don't. Don't you go inside of it. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. I can't handle this. Don't go inside, mister. Did he go inside? Where did he go? Where? Where, where did he go? Don't. Don't. No, no, no. Oh, my God. My timer's going off. No. There's so much that's going on right now. All right, you guys. Well, I guess this wasn't much of like a Day of the Dead celebration part. Well, because it kind of was. We, we incorporated a, quite a bit of stuff, but... In the next part, we will go out and we will start looking for some sugar skulls. And we will also, I guess, celebrate the Day of the Dead. And we'll get her all ready to go for the big party. And like, oh, you know what we'll do? We will throw a Day of the Dead celebration party. So, yeah, that's what we'll do. And we won't invite him because that might raise a little bit of eyebrows here. But, oh, my God, you guys. Could you even? We're going to do it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But I don't. I do not think she's going to be pregnant. Okay, we, we can't let, um, what's his face? No, that we're doing this. Um, but I kind of want her to get married to him because I feel like, you know, we could be on our second husband already. So I don't know. All right, where are you guys going? Okay, 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 good. Matthew is going to work. Matthew is expected for work the next day. Yes, yes, yes. All right, let's see here. Where is he? Please tell me he's not in the bedroom. Okay, thank God. Thank God. Okay. Oh my God. All right. Where is he? All right. Well, he's tense. Oh, he was still like, he doesn't, he doesn't know anything that's going on. He doesn't even know what's upstairs. Where is he? He is downstairs with his son. Like a good dad. Oh my God. All right. Here. We're going to rock him. Oh no. No. He has to go to work. Don't, don't, don't. Oh my God. The baby's, the baby's crying. Oh, there's too much stuff going on here. All right. So Matthew's off to work. She is like all over with him. No, don't say goodbye to him yet. Okay. Hold on. Um, 
so this is what I want to do, guys. This is what I think we're going to do. So if she's pregnant with his kid. Can we take a pregnancy test here? Yes. Yes. All right. So we're going to take a pregnancy test. And then if, if she's pregnant with his kid, um, we're going to have them get married. <laughs> and then we're just going to, I guess, we're just going to like, I don't know. Because I really want her and Matthew to stay together for a while because I do want them to get married eventually. But I feel like we're going to have her get married to him. And then we're just going to have... um. But only if she's pregnant with his kid. If she's not, then we're not we're not gonna do anything with him. But let's see. Oh my god, is she pregnant? Oh my god, she's pregnant. You guys, she is freaking pregnant. She is like Miss Fertile Myrtle. Oh my god. Yeah, eating for two. Oh my god, I can't even handle all of this right now. All right, you guys. Well, anyway, she's pregnant, which sets up um for my next thing I'm going to do. So guys, it all makes sense. Okay. So she, Bella Goth wants to know if we want to go over to hang out. We will in a second, but anyway, so yeah, we are pregnant, which means are you really going to walk all the way over here to let him know that you're pregnant? Are you really going to do that? I guess you are. So anyway, so she's pregnant, which means that we're going to get now, we're going to get married to, to what's his face. <laughs> we're going to get married to this guy. What's his name? Kaysen. And we're going to get married to him. And we're going to see, well, first of all, I want to know if you guys um, want them to like stay married for, okay, so just give me a comment section down or like, let me know in the comments if you guys want me to keep him around for a while or if you guys want me to kill him off right away. So just let me know in the comments down below or, you know, what we're going to do, we're just going to have it do this way. So if you guys want me to keep him around for a while and not kill him off right away, just give this video a thumbs up. So Yeah. So yeah, if you guys just want me to keep him around for a while, just give me a thumbs up and then I'll be sure to do that. And I'll explain to you guys my whole thinking. I was not like, hey, you know, like let's have another baby just to have another baby. There was a reason why I did this, guys. So just, just know that. Just know there was a reason why I made her try for another baby so soon. All right, guys. Well, anyway, I'm going to go on ahead and on this part here. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you guys want them to kind of stick around for a while because then we can find out more about what Matthew will think and then it'll start a whole big storyline. So if you guys want them to um, kind of like become an item for a little bit longer, feel free to go on ahead and give us a thumbs up and I will be sure to do that for you guys. I love you guys all so much and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye guys. Hey guys and thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and yeah, if you guys want to subscribe, go on ahead and click that button down below to, you know, be notified whenever I upload a video. And yeah, I love you guys all so much and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye guys.